that to you in this video. So uh, basically, you know, you could have any EA, in this case I'm taking my Binary Lab EA and I'm just gonna hit visual mode. And what this shows me uh, is how it, how it behaves in its trading. So there are a couple of reasons why I wanna do this apart from the fact that it looks cool. A lot of people think it's simply that. On, on the other hand, for me, I, I don't just come in and look at it. I mean, like, let's say if I find that something I've, I've some settings I've come up with are generally quite profitable, um, it's good to see how it works in the market. And, and I can actually increase or decrease the speed by doing a mouse over over here and I just hit my left to make it slower. If I want to focus on a certain area and just to see how that works out. Um, or I can actually, you know, mouse right and that'll make it quicker. So that's how I could actually, you know, uh, speed it up or slow it down. Now I want to show you uh, in, in effect why I even want to do that, okay? Because sometimes if I'm trying out new set of settings and I look at my chart, for example, in this EA, uh, I have, for example, this EA, if I have it on the cell mode, the cell mode produces a really nice graph. However, if I put it on a different mode, I put it on a buy, and the graph I land up with is something like this. So I would like to know what happens in this area. Why does I know this is close at stop. This is normal for all EAs. I can just go to the results page and I scroll all the way to the bottom, and I know it'll probably say close at stop, which is I see close at stop. <coughs> And I see that's an awful lot of floating loss. So why would, why would I, uh, you know, why would I, why would I, not want to know why that happened? So I come back to this graph, and I mouse over, and I see that okay, uh, all these trades are accumulating since when? Since over here, since the 18th of April. So I'd like to see what happened, and I want to see how I can. I can start thinking of concepts on how to improve the EA. So let's just let's just try that out. I'm gonna click visual mode and click start. So I think I wanna slow it down a couple of notches. Maybe like that. I think this is just about right. And then I will skip to the date that I can just key in the date over here. So I say I want a 17, uh, I'll just skip right there. And let's let's just have a little short movie, see what happens. So numbers I focus on are how many trades I have open because that concerns my margin. Uh, what is my negative profit or rather this is like a floating loss or running profit and loss. And uh, I want to look at the running pips as well. Okay. Obviously, you know, having created this myself, I know that there's certain tolerances, uh, some certain tolerances that it has. But you know, I want to see if it's going out of these ranges and and you know. If so, what can be done? I can get some new ideas. So far, so good. It's collecting profit in that span of time that is chalking out those negative pips as well. That's a good thing about it. Okay, and I'm noticing that um, you know that there's certain points where it goes for very minimum profit, and that could be the reason of spread. So I just want to look into that a little further. So this demo account, or rather this simulation, was set with a thousand dollar balance. <coughs> I want to see how it handles that balance. May has been a very troublesome month, so I think that will be a very good indication uh, of you know market conditions that I need to be aware of when I'm testing this to work on different periods in time. Okay, I see that it's still picking up profits. 
what's a little bit alarming over here is this this running number so it's not it's not making as fast as it's losing and that's definitely something to fix and I'm starting to have an idea of why that is so uh, this is going to give me some back to the drawing board ideas and how I can improve this alright so I hope that tutorial was useful to you um, obviously once you once you fine tune it uh, I mean once you pinpoint the areas then you could go into uh, any EA's settings and just try to get some idea of what things need to be changed you know are you like uh, I was thinking after looking at these results I was thinking that okay maybe uh, fixed slot would be good after, uh, but after X amount of trades maybe you want to bring in like some multiplier uh, reason why I even came up with this idea in the beginning was because I realized that if I had multiplier from the beginning uh, we'll just be choking up big floating loss super fast and you know sometimes it doesn't even help in terms of profit so if that's the case then I mean like yes multiplier can help you recover fast but at the same time uh, what what's what's gonna if it if the market is still not changing its trend in in a, such a strategy then perhaps you know it's gonna it's gonna actually make the recovery even more difficult which is what we don't want it's gonna exaggerate the recovery period so uh, but if we do it smartly with a mixture of lot sizing, uh, that's for example, that's one I did and have right now, uh, and I'll be testing that out and keep you guys posted. So, in the meantime, you know, uh, here's how you can make full use of the visual mode. Uh, once again, a quick recap is that if you're testing it, if everything is good, it's a uh, it's a great way to <clears throat> to test out, you know, uh, what it did well, and at the same time, in what ways it can be better. So, if it's already doing well. Uh, on the graph, you know that. You know, let's say if you <clears throat> you run a full test, you look at the graph, you think, oh, that looks really good. Uh, then we look at, oh, generally that's quite a nice result. But I mean, what's what's this? So, and how can we fix that? So the same thing applies, mouse over the area, and then we go to visual mode. For example, over here, it's the same period as just now, just that this is done a different direction. So zoom into this period, so I can tell that this area has been problematic. Um, Hang on. So from the 2nd of April all the way to the 23rd, it's been a little bit problematic and challenging. Uh, and then we basically go into Sarah, see what we can fix. And as for the other chart, well, what we don't want is that if you're running simultaneously, we definitely don't want the problem areas to coincide or have uh, possibilities of uh, problem areas coinciding. For example, I will take note of that this spot, this spot, this spot, this spot. I'll change the direction and then basically identify the other spots the same. Otherwise, we could have margin issues. Uh, otherwise, you know, we may just want to do one direction only, pick a certain, uh, pick a different pair. And if it's going to be one direction only, uh, you know, on what basis would be taken? So these are a couple of things that I'm thinking of right now, and uh, and you can have some very good ideas, not just on, um, not just on, you know, base for for example, for those of you already in my group. You may have this your hands on this EA, you may have some ideas of testing, but in general, for some of you who are not even in my group, um, you can also apply this approach to testing out any EA, even if it's the ones that come free with MT4, like MACD sample, uh, moving average. Did you know that you can actually make any, uh, any, in, any, literally, any indic expert advisor profitable, as long as you do the right optimizations to it? And the way to do it is to do it one by one. But that's another topic for another day. So um, if you have any questions or comments, post them in the bottom of this video in the, in the comment section. <clears throat> and uh, if any of you would like to get your hands on this EA, which uh, I have several set files for several pairs already. For example, you know, once you come in, you're going to get a whole bunch of uh, set files like over here. As you can see, I have, I have uh, for the Euro Aussie, I have a... ECN set file, I have micro set files, I have uh, set files for the $500 size, which is very popular among a lot of people. At the moment, I'm working on, um, you know, like, I'm trying to come up with a system that people can use on really small size accounts, like, you know, $100, even $200 accounts uh, to make a lot of profit. I think that's going to benefit a lot of people. And the thing is, it's not just about benefiting people in third world countries or the mass market but you know if a strategy <clears throat> can work well 
on a standard law account, not micro law account, standard law account uh, of a minimal balance, 100, 200. What do you think it can possibly do if the balance was 1,000 or 10,000? Right, so that's some, some things to think about. So if that interests you, head on to my website, the forexlab.net, head over to the EA page. Uh, I think it's Forex Manager Accounts. So just click on that page. Uh, I know it says Forex Manager Accounts, but some of you who want to do self-run, you also click on that page, also click on that page, and uh, there'll be instructions for you there on how you can get hold of my expert advisors uh, from my page once you open accounts with us. Of course, there are account minimums, and you can see them over there, what they are. Bye for now.